When you start out, you have to deal with the problems of failure. You need to be thick-skinned to learn that not every project will survive. A freelance life, a life in the arts, is sometimes like putting messages in bottles on a desert island and hoping that someone will find one of your bottles and open it and read it and put something in a bottle that will wash its way back to you. Appreciation or a commission or money or love. And you have to accept that you may put out hundreds of things for every bottle that winds up coming back. The problems of failure, the problems of discouragement, of hopelessness, of hunger. You want everything to happen and you want it now and things go wrong. So I thought I'd tell you everything I wish I'd known starting out. And a few things that looking back on it, I suppose I did know. And that I'd also give you the best piece of advice I'd ever got which I completely failed to follow. When you start out on a career in the arts, you have no idea what you're doing. This is great. People who know what they're doing know the rules, and they know what is possible and what is impossible. You do not, and you should not. The rules on what is possible and impossible in the arts were made by people who had not tested the bounds of the possible by going beyond them, and you can. If you don't know it's impossible, it's easier to do. And because nobody's done it before, they haven't made up rules to stop anyone doing that particular thing again. If you have an idea of what you want to make, what you were put here to do, then just go and do that. And that's much harder than it sounds, and sometimes in the end so much easier than you might imagine. The problems of failure are hard. The problems of success can be harder because nobody warns you about them. And with luck, you'll experience them. The point where you stop saying yes to everything because now the bottles you threw in the ocean are all coming back and you have to learn to say no. Remember, whatever discipline you're in, whether you're a musician or a photographer, a fine artist or a cartoonist, a writer, a dancer, singer, a designer, whatever you do, you have one thing that's unique. You have the ability to make art. And for me, and for so many of the people I've known, that's been a lifesaver. The ultimate lifesaver. It gets you through good times and it gets you through the other ones. Sometimes life is hard. Things go wrong. In life, and in love, and in business, and in friendship, and in health, and in all the other ways that life can go wrong. And when things get tough, this is what you should do. Make good art. Make your art. Do the stuff that only you can do. The urge starting out is to copy, and that's not a bad thing. Most of us only find our own voices after we've sounded like a lot of other people. But the one thing that you have that nobody else has is you. Your voice, your mind, your story, your vision. So write and draw and build and play and dance and live as only you can. And now go and make interesting mistakes, make amazing mistakes, make glorious and fantastic mistakes, break rules, leave the world more interesting for your being here. Make good art.